Okay everybody, welcome. Welcome to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about top Linux packages in Ubuntu. Okay? So the pattern of this video would be that I would name a package and then I would write it down here. I would explain it and then we go on and install it and then finally we would run it. Okay? So now let's go ahead and let's discuss our first package. So the first package that we're going to discuss is Steam. Okay. So if you are familiar with it, then you know that it is related to gaming. Okay. So gaming on Linux is a real deal now. Um, you know, it was not possible a few years ago. In 2013, Valve basically announced Steam gaming client for Linux and everything has changed since then. Earlier users were hesitant to switch to Linux from Windows just because they would not be able to play their favorite games on Ubuntu, but they can do that now without any hesitation because of this Steam. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's try to install this. Okay, so first of all, we we'll press Ctrl Alt T as we always do to open our terminal. We zoom in a little bit, okay, or maybe a little bit zoom out. So now what we're gonna do here we're gonna write here a few commands so first of all we're gonna write here sudo apt get, get update okay so we want to update our repository so it is going to ask you the password for the first time you hit enter and now you can see that it is basically updating the repository and now it has updated okay so make sure your repository is up to date before installing any package okay so now uh, you would basically clear it and you would write here sudo apt get install steam okay so this is a simple command uh, for the installation of steam all right so do not worry because i'm going to put all these commands that we're going to use in here uh, i'm going to put all of them in the description all right so we hit enter and now you can see that uh, it tells us that uh, your version is already the newest it means that i have i have actually already installed this steam version uh, on my system but when you would be installing for the first time it would take quite a while to install steam on your ubuntu system okay so now let's go ahead and uh, let's try to open it right so how would you open this steam so you would go here uh, in apps and you can search here uh, steam and you can see that here we have the icon of steam so we click on it and it would open steam basically for us okay so here you can see that you have two options you can either create a, an account a new account or you can basically log into a existing one as well okay so here we have this window uh, if you have the account you can put here the account name and then the password if you don't have it then you can also create a new account all right so now let's move on to the next package so this was related to the gaming so now let's discuss a package related to the video which is very famous one so the next uh, package that we're going to discuss is vlc media player okay so it's a very famous one it is very popular uh, cross-platform and open source media player uh, which is also available for Ubuntu. So what makes VLC a best media player uh, is that it can play videos in all the audio and video platforms available on this planet. Okay, so yeah, that's amazing. VLC has a slick user interface which is very easy to use. And apart from that, it offers a lot of features such as online video. Um, you can actually have uh, audio streaming. Okay, you can create your po podcast, and you can have video customization, etc. So, in order to install VLC, first of all, you have to update your repository. So, once we have done that, uh, we can do it again. Okay, so in order to make sure that there are no problems, so sudo apt get update. We hit enter and now you can see that that our repository has been updated so before any package make sure you update your repository so now we're just going to clear it and we're going to write here sudo app to get install vlc and then we write here qt wayland 5 land 5 we hit enter 
and you can see that it has started to install it it asks us do you want to continue so we press y yes we want to continue so we hit enter and now it would start to download it okay so it's around 236 mb i guess so it would take quite a while so now you can see here we have installed a vlc successfully so in order to open vlc we'd go to our apps and here we can search vlc or we can actually basically go to the video and op open with a vlc media player okay we can do to that video and we can open that video uh, with vlc all right so now you can see that vlc media player is successfully installed and it is running okay so now let's move on to the next package uh, so this was related to the videos it was a media player so now uh, basically it was related to videos and audios both excuse me okay so it is a media player right the next thing that we're going to discuss the next package is uh, GIMP or GIMP photo editor okay so this is a photo editor um, and it stands for uh, GNU image manipulation program okay so uh, G stands for GNU uh, I stands for image M stands for manipulation and P stands for program so it is a free and open source photo editor for you uh, to it is arguably a best alternative uh, to Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop um, if you have been continuously using Adobe Photoshop and finding it difficult uh, to get used to GIMP then basically you can customize GIMP to look very similar to Photoshop as well okay so you can do do that uh, GIMP is a feature rich photo editor and you can always use additional features by installing extensions and other plugins at any time so now let's go ahead and let's try to install GIMP so for that we we'll go here and obviously uh, once we have updated our repository we don't need to update it over and over again uh, but if you're installing it for the first time after quite a while then you can basically update your repository by using the command sudo apt-get update okay so now um, we have already used it so we're not going to use it here get install gimp gimp so I hit enter and you can see that now it has started to install it's 97.3 megabytes so I press Y and it would start to install it and it would take quite a while so once you have installed it so what you can do is that you can go here show applications and you can try to search here GIMP and you can see here we have GNU image manipulation uh, program okay so here it would basically load it it would start the extension it would initialize it it would load all sorts of plugins that are required so now you can see that this is the interface of gnu image manipulation uh, program and you can basically quite make it uh, look like uh, photoshop as well okay so now let's move on and let's go ahead and let's talk about our next package so now let's come to uh, video calling so skype all, all of you are familiar with it so skype is a very popular cross-platform video calling application which is now also available for linux as a snap app skype is an instant message application as well uh, which basically offers features like a voice and video calls uh, desktop screen sharing etc skype has excellent user interface uh, which is very similar to desktop client on windows and it is very easy to use uh, it could be very useful app for many switchers from windows basically okay so do not worry window users who have switched on linux uh, you can also have skype uh, on ubuntu as well so in order to install skype all you have to do we have updated our repository as well so now we'll write here sudo snap install uh, classic skype okay so we hit enter and you can see that it would basically start to download skype okay so So here you can see that Skype uh, from Skype basically it has in it has been 
installed okay so now you can go here to your applications and here you can search for skype and here you have skype okay so that was really simple to install skype so here you can basically uh, let's go and you can sign in or create your skype account okay so let me just cross it so now let's discuss uh, another package uh, which is going to be unity tweak tool so basically it would uh, this tool helps you customize your desktop according to your need all right so we write here unity tweak tool and uh, basically uh, it is a must have tool for every linux user uh, because it gives user the ability to customize desktop according to their need right as i have told you so you can try new gtk themes or gnom tweak uh, themes you can set up desktop hot corners you can customize icon set and uh, you can tweak unity launcher uh, etc so unity tweak tool it can be very useful uh, to the user as it has everything covered uh, right from the basic to advanced okay so a unity tweak tool it can be a uh, very useful to the user as it has everything covered right from the basic to advanced all sorts of configurations okay so if you want to install this uh, tweak tool what you have to do that you have to go to your uh, you know terminal you have to write here sudo apt get update you hit enter you update your repository after updating your repository just clear it and write here sudo apt get install and then you write here the unity tweak tool okay like this so you hit enter and now you can see that it would basically start to install the tweak tool it would take 207 megabytes of additional disk space so you would hit enter you would press y and hit enter it means that you want to install it and after that it would start to install it and you don't have to worry about it it would take care of it itself okay okay so now you can see here that we have installed the unity tweak tool successfully so in order to open unity tweak tool what you have to do is that you have to write here unity uh, tweak tool and you hit enter and now you can see that the unity tweak tool has been opened and you can perform several operations here okay so now let's go ahead and let's talk about another uh, package uh, let's talk about the package manager specifically so we have talked about uh, gaming we have talked about uh, media uh, videos and audios we have talked about photo editing uh, video calling and here we have talked about unity tweak tool and and now let's talk about the last but not the least the package manager okay so synaptic pa package manager is the tool that we're going to talk about or the package that we're going to talk about so synaptic package manager okay so these are all the packages so obviously we have to have a package manager as well uh, so this is the best package manager that i know of so synaptic package manager it is one of the must have tools on ubuntu because it works for gra graphical interface uh, for apt get command okay and obviously apt get is the command that we usually use to install apps or packages on ubuntu using terminal right so it gives tough competition to default app stores on various linux uh, distributions okay so synaptic basically comes with very simple user interface which is very fast and easy to use as compared to other app stores all right so now let's go ahead and let's try to install this synaptic package so in order to install it what you have to do you have to write here sudo and then you'd write here apt get install excuse me there was a spelling mistake you'd write here apt get install and then we write here snap synaptic okay so now we hit enter and now you can see that it has started to download 
the package so it press y it's around 7 mb so it would download it uh, quicker so after downloading it we would run it and i'd show you the simple interface okay so now you can see that we have installed synaptic package manager successfully so if you want to see that if that is really been installed or not so what you can do is that you, you can write here synaptic and hit enter and you can see that it says starting a synaptic package manager without admin administrative privileges so obviously it is not possible so what we can do is that we can actually uh, become a root user and then we can basically open this package okay so we'll just basically close it and uh, let me just close it first and we'd become the administrator or the root user and now we try to open a synaptic package by writing here synaptic all right so we hit enter and you can see that basically synaptic package manager has been opened so here you can see you have all the packages that you can basically install here is a list of packages and on the left hand side you can basically uh, browse all sorts of apps in different categories from where you can easily install and uninstall apps as well okay so that was basically synaptic manager and now um, i think we have missed one important package so it is related to the text editor okay so the text editor at the ide category ide stands for integrated development environment so in that category we would basically discuss a very important package which is uh, essentially win okay so there are other type of text editors available as well such as atom and emacs as well so we'll discuss win okay so let me just write here win uh, text editor okay so let me just write here all right so this is the last package that we're going to discuss okay so vim basically it is an integrated development environment which you can use as standalone application or command line interface for programming in various major programming languages like python so what we can do we can also write here text editor or ide all right it can be used as both so most of the programmers basically prefer coding in vim because it is fast and highly customizable ide uh, initially you might find it difficult to use but you will quickly get used to it okay so now let's get ahead and let's try to install it so now we are already a root user so we don't need to write here sudo so what we do would write here apt get install and then we'd write here vim so we hit enter and you can see that it has basically it says that vim is already the newest version so i have already vim installed on my system but when you would install for the first time it would take quite a while okay so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new for written articles you can visit our website linuxn.com and i will see you in the next video